Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the Masterpiece collection and where it is going and why it is going down. So it is not a unexpected turn of events, but all the Masterpieces have plummeted in price. What I predicted would happen with the Amon Kent Masterpieces have already happened. You can have several Masterpieces like Divert for under $20. I believe Chain Lightning is very close to 20 right now. And that's retail. So those are retail prices. If you go on eBay, maybe Divert is $15, perhaps less. Uh, but the most expensive expeditions and the ones that have largely kept their price is from Zendikar, as well as Oath of the Gatewatch. Battle for Zendikar had the fetch lands and they will always be somewhat valuable uh we let's take a look ancient tomb is good arid mesa blood crypt bloodstained mirror breeding pool canopy vista we see this one finally fall to 26 dollars, and it is all the the ones that were printed in Z battle for zendikar have gone down considerably cinder glade as well Eye of Ugin being banned in modern has, is around $50 now. What has been surprising to me is the decline in what's it called? The lands from Shadowmoor or you produce the Cascade Bluffs, the Fetal Heath, Violet. Those have gone down a ton. Flooded Strand is still pretty good at $147, but Forbidden Orchard is now $33. Godless Shrine, as well as the other Shocklands, have largely plummeted in price, and you can now get them for sub 100, sub 50 for some of them. Hollowed Fountain. Core Haven is under $30. That's a pretty good EDH one, and might be worth picking up, but these generally are trending down. I have not seen them trending up yet. As a whole, they have just been plummeting. You do have your Misty, you do have your Polluted, and you do have your Flooded Strand holding your prices relatively well. However, the large majority of these are getting just demolished in price. Steam Vents is 75. It's kind of okay because it's blue. Sunken Hollow is $25 for Expedition. So... Canopy Vista as well as Sunken Hollow. Sunken Hollow might not be a bad expedition to buy at $25. Sunken Ruin uh, used to be, I purchased mine for like $60, $70 and I felt that was a good deal. Now it's just plummeting. Tech Edge, $30. Used to be way more when it was slightly modern playable. Water uh, Grave as well as the Foothold and Wooden Bristin. So these Endicar expeditions are taking a beating, but not quite as much as you will see a trend. Zendikar, a lot of it was opened. Kaladesh, a lot of it was opened. And now we get to Amaket, where the prices should not be as low as they are. But my belief is the player base now understands what an expedition is, and it's not incredibly uncommon, uh, meaning that it's not this highly pimped version that's always better than the original foil the original foil will always always be better let's take a look at the inventions as a whole if you added all these and you compared it to the prices of the expeditions the expeditions i believe are a lot worth more because you have the i mean essentially you have lands right lands versus artifacts if you had to pick one you would need your lands before you need your artifacts and having 10 of the fetch lands 10 of the shock lands d definitely helps the value of that set so when we take a look at here we obviously have aether vial being very good we have black vice being at 21 dollars the gear hulks all being very very low champion's helm at 24 Chrome Mox. Chrome Mox is a good card at $41. And it might be one to look for. I, I'm pretty certain that Chrome Mox is so low because it's banned in modern. It's one of the strongest cards. And should it ever be on ban, not that it ever would be because it's 
I believe it's always been on the ban list from the very get-go. And that's why you see the difference between Mox Opal and Chromox. One of them is banned in modern, one of them is not. Crucible is very good. The Gear Hulk, all under $30. Defense Grid, Duplicant, not too bad. Uh, Lens, $30. Gauntlet of Power, $34. Grindstone, $40. And you get all the way to the Mana Crypt being one of the most expensive cards. This used to be a $200 card, and it's $200 no more. It's $133 retail. Meek Stone is a nice $27 pickup. Mox Opal is $122. You do have um, the Gear Hulk as well as Painter's Servant. Wow, the original copy of Painter's Servant was probably $35. So to get the Expedition at around the same cost, pretty good. Piffing Needle, Bridge, uh, Sculpting Steel at under $30, Soul Rang being the most expensive, I believe, in the set at $159. Oh, actually, Crucible and Soul Rang and then Chalice of the Void all being above $150 is pretty good. Uh, you have Static Orb at $28, then you have Sundering Titan at $30, sort of. Body and Mind, 44. Feast Famine, 84. Fire and Ice, 81. Light and Shadow, 75. War and Peace, 52. All very good and very cheap. So what is the conclusion? I mean, your Gear Hulks are all less than 50. Even your Shackles, which used to be a very expensive card, right? This used to be one of the best cards when Blue and Blue still had good cards in it before they all got banned in Modern. It used to be quite expensive. The overall, my gut feeling about it is up until Amaket, it was okay. And Amaket, this is where prices are the highest. These screenshots were taken Sunday, Sunday when the set just released. There's very limited supply, and people are fire selling these Amaket invocations like there's no tomorrow. And you will see the severe price difference, and that's what I wanted to make the video about, was I wanted to bring it all the way up to this point. This is Amaket. $26, Aggravated Assault. Attrition, $25. Command, $34. Mind Sensor, $29. And very much dropping. The Gods, Bantu, $44. Chain Lightning, $25. Consecrated Sphinx, $25. Oh, 55. Containment Priest, 49. Counterbalance, 32. A recent drop on that one. Counterspell, 44. Cryptic, 73. Dark Ritual, 45. Days, 48. Diabolic Intent, under $30. Divert, under $20. You can get a masterpiece and a newer set for under $20. Imagine like opening four boxes and then this is your master, or buying a case and this is your masterpiece. I would throw up. Uh, in Tomb, $40, Force of Will being the heavy hitter, but I truly believe this is not as valuable as Soul Ring in this particular frame. Hazret, uh, Kenef, Loyal Retainers, Maelstrom Post, Mind Twist, Ulcatra the True, Pack of Negation, only $54, Ronos, Spell Pierce, $45, Stifle. There used to be a time Stifle itself was $35. Vindicate, $30. Worship, $29. Wrath of God, $39. Do you see where the trend is going? Wait until we get uh, the next set. It will be even lower than this. There is currently a neck. And you might say, oh, Divert sucks. And no one needs to play Divert. Divert is still a mythic of mythics. It's still a masterpiece. It's still the one in every three and a half to four boxes. I would just feel sick if I purchased a case and my expedition was divert. I would not be happy. And the problem here is the expectations and the hype is very high, but the delivery is very low. And you might say, oh, they selected bad cards. That's on Wizards of Coast. Or, oh, you know, people are just used to it. That's on Wizards of the Coast. This is very interesting to see just all the hype on the original expeditions. I have friends who bought cases and cases 
that one of my friends bought six cases of the product. He typically only buys a fat pack, but he was so excited and he got it at $95, which he felt was a good price on Battle for Zendikar. And initially it looked good. It looked really good. But the prices have just dropped to something that I just can't understand. I cannot comprehend you can buy a $20 masterpiece in a new set two days after release. That, I, I'm, I'm baffled. And it is something that I have never seen. I've been playing Magic since beta and I've seen some crazy stuff. Some crazy stuff that Magic, like even when Magic had a store and they were doing more Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments than Magic tournaments and they were doing more Pokemon tournaments than Magic tournaments and they had better Yu-Gi-Oh promos than Magic promos. I thought that was kind of strange, but but this is, takes a cake. A $20 masterpiece in a set that's been released two days from the recording of this video. It just feels bad. Anyway, that's it, guys. Leave me a comment below. Bye, guys.